in the summer 2014, work on raising the gas MM truck from the riverbed of Mustar River was underway for three days alone. It was finally recovered from 4 meters depth and delivered to the Novgorod Kremlin. We were able to examine it in detail only this summer. The truck was recognized as gas MM. The remains of a driver were found in the cab, and 120 mm divisional motor and 34 mines in the back of the truck. Later, the regional demining team and Novgorod rescuers joined the inspection work. The remains of the driver were also removed that time. They were handed over to the members of the Novgorod Regional Search Expedition, the Valley. However, not a single item that could be used to prove the soldier's identity was found in his pocket. It could be a dog tag, medals, or personal items with inscription. It was only clear that he died in the winter 1944, during the offensive operation of the Soviet troops to liberate Novgorod. But the searchers do not lose hope of finding information about the deceased in the military archives. The loss of the truck with the divisional mortar and full ammunition should have been reflected in the frontline reports. By the way, recently we've got confirmation of the version that there was more than one soldier in that truck. Four small arms were also found in the cab and on board, rifles and machine guns. So, perhaps the searches from the valley will be able to establish the names of several more soldiers who died there. The truck was perfectly preserved in clay except for the cab. The tires looked like new. They were even inflated. The frame and the engine by the Czechoslovakian Vata Company 1939 release were intact. After half a year, the truck was completely restored. Nowadays, it can be seen in the local museum. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe since there are more videos to come. See you!